Hey everyone, um, this is actually take two, but anyways, um, I'll be showing you how to make a color corrector like the one that you just saw um, today, so basically this is gonna take a while, so make sure that you have enough time to do it, because um, I actually had to write down all of the settings on a notebook, either because I'm dumb or because there's too many settings, so yeah, okay, so just get your adjustment clip and adjust it to the clip's length. Um, I'm just going to go to this frame to show how to do it better. Okay, so the first thing that you want to add is add a hotspot node. Um, change the primary center Y to 1.5. Change the primary strength to 0.5. And change the size to 1.21. I'm reading off of the thing right now, so I might sound kind of stupid if I don't already own this. Okay, and then next you're going to want to add a glow node. Um, and make sure that you add the second one, okay? It's not the one with the brackets and GLO, it's the one underneath that, which it doesn't have any brackets. Okay, so just make sure that you're adding that one. Um, and then change the sh that shine threshold to 0 0.181. Change the spread to 1.386. And then change the gain to 0 0.583. And then change the gamma to 0 0.487. And then don't worry if it's looking weird right now, it'll all make sense in the end. Change the color to a sort of light orangish color. Um, you'll see it in a sec. Alright, so yeah, kind of something something like that. Um, and then uh, add blur, just blur, normal blur, no nothing else. And then change the blur size to 12. And then so here, I'll just give a brief breakdown for what everything is for. The hotspot and glow is to create a kind of like orange glow near the top. The hotspot was to like control where the glow would come from, and the glow is to make glow. That should be pretty obvious. And then this blur, we're gonna add an ellipse to it in order to make a... Okay, so first set soft edge to 0 0.2, and then set width and height to around 0 0.714. After you've done that, click the invert button and then you should get a nice blur v-net as you can see on the sides. And um, yeah, everything will, you'll see how everything comes together in due time. By the way, this is no plugins. I probably should have said that at the beginning, but I'm stupid, so I didn't. Anyways, yeah, this is no plugins. So yeah, add a v-net um, and then change the size to 0.724. Change the anamorphism to 2.559. Change the softness to 0 0.583. And then it should look something like this. Move the media out a little bit wider. Yeah, this is for making a vignette. That's pretty obvious. Okay, add a background node and it should automatically add a merge node. Um, just drag them into place. Okay, so change the merge to um, soft light. And then it'll do something like this. It's not supposed to do this yet, um, but anyways, yeah, you'll see, you'll see how it works. And then change the background color, get the blue, and drag it straight up. Then you should get something a little bit like this. And then, um, hmm, actually, the glow looks a little bit too yellowish, so I'm gonna drag it slightly more towards the orange side. There we go. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, just make sure your orange isn't too yellow. Um, and then, this part is optional, and it definitely will take a toll on your rendering time, because this effect takes a long time to render, but if you have reactor plugins, you can add ML Fast Chroma for just a little bit of finishedness. So, uh, set size to about 1.00787, and it'll give the edges kind of, like, see if you just look at it without... Okay, so if you look at it without... And then with it, it gives the edges a little bit of a like chroma aberration effect. And then this is the part that you've all been waiting for, probably. So add another glow, uh, like the same glow as before. And um, uh, what you want to do is change the shine threshold to 1. And then you want to change the spread to 2. And the HV ratio to 0 0.98. 
Uh, now it doesn't look like it's done anything yet, but now you'll want to go to the gamma and change it to 1.3. Nope, gain. I made that mistake on the last take too. So 1.323 and then change the gamma to, well, just leave it at 1 and then change this to 3. Um, and then you want to change the color uh, and just turn down the blue and the red. And it doesn't that is um, go to the color tab and then turn the midtones all the way up and also turn the contrast to 1.2 okay yeah we can see the anamorphic flares like coming in now it's um it's working now so yeah i think in my preview it was a bit slow so you can delete the glow if you need to and um basically uh if it's too strong for your liking what you can do is either turn down the spread or if you want it to go to the edges then just turn down the gamma or you can do another thing um which is just turn down the opacity altogether so yeah it should look something like this and um if you want to like change the hue this is like kind of experimental but um like if you just want to change the color to suit your theme a little bit better you know you can always just like play around with the hue and stuff and yeah it'll it might suit your theme a little bit better if you change the hue a bit like if you want it to be green or if you want it to be orange blah 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 yeah that you can just change the hue a bit and it, it'll it change along with it i just prefer to keep the regular colors so yeah um if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments if i went too quickly which i really doubt because my workflow is bad um then yeah you can pause the video and i hope this helped bye